Do you want better YouTube shorts? I'm gonna show you the best export settings for Premiere Pro 2023. Once you have your video completed, you can hit Control M or just go over to export here. And once you're here, you're gonna select the preset for YouTube 1080p Full HD. If you don't have it, you can just go under here, more presets, type in YouTube and select the 1080p Full HD. Once you do that, keep the H.264 format, go down to video. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is match source. And once you do that, it'll match to your 1080 by 1920. Now, if you were not editing in the nine by 16 format, unselect the frame size and then type in 1080 by 1920 so you can get the right format for a YouTube short. Then when you click on more, you're gonna see the render at maximum depth and maximum render quality. Now, a lot of YouTubers will just say to check those because it'll increase the quality, but that's not actually what these do. Uh, the maximum render quality only refers to rescaled footage and the maximum depth only refers to anything with more than eight bit colors. So if you didn't like scale the footage, the maximum render quality, it's not gonna change anything. And that's only if you're doing the software encoding, which you're probably not gonna be doing. So most likely it's gonna have no effect. Now it's not gonna hurt them or anything, but if you're doing the hardware encoding, which I recommend doing, it has stuff in there that automatically checks those. Speaking of the hardware encoding, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see hardware encoding or software encoding. If you have the option to do hardware encoding, I would definitely recommend doing it. It'll be somewhere around four times as fast because it'll use your GPU to encode, so I would definitely recommend doing that. And since YouTube shorts are 1080p, you don't need to go above 4.1 for your encoding level. This will be just fine. And now probably the most important part is the bitrate settings. So you have a few different options, CBR, VBR, one pass, and VBR two pass. Now VBR two pass is very similar to one pass. It'll just take a little bit longer, but it'll be a little smaller of a file size because it'll look over it once to know what it needs. CBR is generally more suited for streaming where you wanna send a consistent amount of data, but VBR is generally better for YouTube shorts as it'll be able to handle scene changes a little bit better. And it'll also have a little bit smaller of file sizes since it's more optimized. The only problem is it'll take a little bit longer to export. Now you may be tempted to just crank it up to get the best quality footage, but what happens is when you re-upload it to YouTube, they encode it again. And they recommend using 15 megabits per second, but I think using 30 is just fine and you will not be able to tell the difference between like 30 and 50. It's gonna be such a diminishing return after that point that I think this is more than enough. So those are the video settings. Audio settings, you can keep the exact same. And just like that, you're good to export, but I would also recommend saving this as a preset. So I'm just gonna call this YouTube short. Okay. And then the next time you are exporting something, you can just select that from the preset, hit export, and then you should be good to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more Premiere Pro tutorials in the future. I'll see you next time. Peace.